local, late breaking. Station on and off the court. KEZ 9 News 5 starts now. Authorities say at least 10 people were injured. Some skiers jumped off the lift before being crushed at the bottom of the hill. We are one day away from the daffodils. What you can expect this year in Junction City when we come back. All this traffic is so you're going to run into now your normal slowdown in the Delta Delta Beltline Delta interchange. I'll have a closer look at your forecast coming up next. <laughs> Through the Eugene Springfield area, we do have some slower traffic along the Belt Line Delta interchange. Project, and the next project they are looking at will impact the Belta, the uh, Belt Line from Delta to River Road. As we slide all the way down into the Southern Willamette Valley, the Eugene Springfield area, we do have our normal slowdown along West 11 and also along the Delta Belt Line interchange. And as we get into the rest of this Other evening, tags to customers traveling with animals after two recent incidents involving. One, including, I should say, one involving an Oregon dog. Yeah, a German Shepherd that was supposed to fly from Oregon to Kansas instead ended up in Japan. Tell us how the Ducks and Beebs found a way to survive in advance. Jonathan? I think Jonathan his picture froze. Mm -hmm. So uh, we do know it's a little bit warmer than that down in Las Vegas, but his picture has literally frozen. All right, an Oregon State 69-66 overtime win against Washington. It was the usual suspects making some big plays. Drew, you both move on. In Springfield, Jessica Babb, KEZI 9 News. Situation at A3. Kelly D commented saying that beautiful brand new lawnmower, rideable lawnmower, something you should not use on the road towards Philomath, or actually, excuse me, Philomath towards Corvallis. You're looking at some slower traffic, and then we slide all the way down. Oh, let's get that map going a little bit slow. It's a Tuesday, I guess. It's a forgot that it's Tuesday. It should be working by this point. You can see, yes, some slower traffic along West 11th. See, there's lots of space. You can stand up in here, moving around, this, and you could see this. It's pretty cool. It's like a mini. I don't even know. Pool mixed with a spot. They've just outdone it. So this is one thing you can see. Of course, there's many other things you can see. And a woman and three men from Douglas County were arrested after a stolen car investigation. Actually, that's two men. You see them both there. At his court appearance today, police say this happened early yesterday morning around 1.30 in the afternoon. A woman pictured in these photos. They say she's wanted in connection with a theft investigation that left that... That theft happened on Tuesday. If you recognize her, call the number on your screen. Two employees with, with the Springfield Police Department are now being investigated. The city of Portland is announcing its first milestone in what they are calling the Poop to Power Project. KZI 9 News at 6 at 5 starts now. Springfield police are investigating a multi-vehicle crash that has left one person in critical, uh, critical condition tonight. Now, the driver was chased by the person they hit in an earlier accident, and police actually say the driver chasing him may have done the right thing. In the story is graphic. In KZI 9 News... Again, some of the wording you're about to hear in this story is considered graphic. Tonight, facing sex abuse charges, and I said, as I said, police are concerned. And I said, as I said... No. Take a look at the picture of the man you say, uh, you see here, you say, uh, you see. Some high schoolers got to look at what life is like after school, uh, what it's going to be like, and what, uh, what. We're going to talk about uh, Lane County's job fair, what it had to offer coming up. Special funding to remove debris from the Offer Heidi Drive. And KZI 9 News reporter Jessica Bob, Bab, excuse me, was. We're actually going to get to that story in just a minute. First, we're going to. Go to deputies say that a driver was distracted before slamming into a house in Springfield this morning. All right, I think we already told you about that story. Let's, here we go. I'm oh. sorry about that. A Vanita woman has a warning tonight for other parents after her daughter received an explicit text. He replaced former superintendent Vincent Martol Martorello. Martorello We also have a butt-breathing turtle in today's Take a Look at This. Offering a $2,000 reward for information about two deer in southern Oregon that were shot with arrows. <clears throat> the animals were... The Mary River turtle looks like a Pokemon. It does. But either way, I felt like the pictures, though, I wanted to see a picture of its butt. And we didn't see any pictures of its butt. <laughs> like... You like it then what? Like bubbles or something? I mean, I want to see this butt-breathing apparatus that it has. And yeah, we got no like, pictures of it. Uh, that may be a little, a little much for some people. <laughs> I mean, it's just a butt. I guess it's a turtle butt. Yeah, but like a turtle butt breathing. Yeah, I want to see it. <laughs> Is that a dumbbell iPhone in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> That's all I can think about. I think of that one. <laughs> it works, but then you're gonna have to. I mean, you'll get tired. You know, It'll watching a full like movie. Your one arm would be really strong, and the other arm wouldn't. Yeah.